it's not at all surprising in the absence of very strenuous effort to, pre to prevent it, that this virus spreads throughout the population as fast and as quickly um, and as widespread as it is. We know this is an extraordinarily contagious virus and left to its own devices, it will affect 70 to 80% of people in a community. So is it surprising that it can do that? No. Uh, personally, my, I'm frankly, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised and, and disappointed that we've been as, as had as low success or as, as we failed as much as we have to slow it. But I think I, I say that because I think it's important to understand that there's still time to turn this around. We know what to do to reduce transmission, to bend the curve, and we need to do it. So I think if we can look at these numbers and, and think about how this is not surprising, and given what we know about how many people have been infected already from some antibody surveys, the worst case scenario is that it's really just getting started. It's probably fewer than 10% of Wisconsin residents have been infected, which means 90% are still unexposed and susceptible. So the expectation, if we don't do very aggressive things to slow the spread, is that this could continue and get worse. And I, but I think it's so important that we understand we can actually turn the corner. We can do the things. It's been shown in many other places that even when, when infection rates are high, that we can turn it around. But we have to really get organized and really do this well very soon, or we would not be, if we don't do that, it would not be surprising for numbers to continue to get worse.